Dam Hewn and I play Jamie Fraser. And I'm Richard Ranking <laughs> and I play Roger. Well, we have some fantastic start. questions from you all. I hope you and Richard set a good example for the children on set. Myself and Richard? Yeah, best behavior. Oh, yeah. What is it? No, set a good example for the kids on set. Oh, yes, of course, every day. All the time. <laughs> there um, may be babies. There may be war. I, I, sorry, I started. There may be I, I just, I created a monster here. I'm very sorry. <laughs> okay, oh, this Wolf. is a good one. This is a good one. Anne Wolf asks, I've got a question for Sam or oh. Richard. Oh, what okay. is the difference between a stramash, a klishmaklava, and I'm going to embarrass myself, Sam, will you take that? And a kebby lebby. <laughs> Apologies for spelling errors. I have no idea. A stramash is a, is a big mess, isn't it? A big, big, is it a big That's a fight. Fight, or a big, like, but it's like a big... A klebby webby has been in the stramash. show. That's a like a little one. argument and between two people. What is the other one? You know, both women are quite modern, and both of the men in the relationship are quite oh, kind okay. of traditional. In, I mean, Jamie's... For their time. No, but he's, you know, of their time. Yeah. Let's go with that. Of their time. <laughs> of their time. Brie had yeah, a grudge did, for a whole season, but he still season, beat him I... nearly to death and sold him to the Mohawk for something that he didn't do. So, yeah, I can it's imagine Lizzie's... harboring Excellent. resentment no, against but someone think... for that. Yeah, but... OK, but I think you can hold resentment against something that happened as opposed to a person. You're lucky I didn't kill Because I think... He is lucky. He is. He is. I think he has a lot of respect, a lot of admiration for Jamie. Yeah, I think I think it's a really interesting relationship that we explore this season. That um, you know, Jamie and Roger are two very different men and uh, with different qualities. And I think there's a really nice coming together of those those men. But uh, yes, he will never measure up to be his his daughter's. He will never. Well, he might. What can I say? Well, that was a hell of a lot of trouble for nothing. <laughs> Last time I'd save your ass. <laughs> Wait, Brianna's? No, well, oh, no. Well, that's a <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 yes. That's, okay. no, Roger, uh, Jamie's, um, you know, he's, uh, at this point, he's been commissioned to, to go and hunt down his, his godfather, uh, Martin Fitzgibbons, and um, he's working for the British, um, slightly dupl duplicitously, he, you know, obviously doesn't really believe um, in what they stand for, but he knows that he has to do it for the greater good and to protect everyone at Fraser's Ridge. Um, and he takes Roger along and really wants him to be the the, the son-in-law that he's always wanted. And um, yeah, I think we see that you know their relationship really grow this season, and I think they they by the end of the season won't give away too much. You know, they they have a. They have an understanding, but yeah, Roger's not uh, not the 1700s man that Jamie wants him to be. Yeah, he's not a 1700s man, is he? But that was one of the fun things about playing season five was their relationship. It get, moves along in baby steps. There's a lot of jabs. There's a lot of little digs, especially coming from Jamie. That was fun, but he's not fun. he's not a man of the 1700s, and I think that that is something a, a, an, an able-bodied man of Roger's age in the 1700s. There's a lot of skills and qualities that are taken for granted, I think, especially from someone like Jamie that Roger just doesn't have. So he has to kind of like, has to adapt quickly and improvise, leads to a lot of fun.